What is the quantity theory of money? According to the quantity theory of money, the money supply and price levels in an economy are in direct proportion to one another. When there is a change in the money supply, price levels change proportionally. Alternatively, when price levels change, the money supply also changes by the same proportion. The quantity theory of money is the foundation stone of the monetarist school of thought. That is, it is what monetarism is basically founded on. Monetarists claim that if you raise the money supply faster than GDP growth, you will get inflation. If we control the money supply, the rest of the economy will take care of itself, they say. The quantity theory of money is built on an equation created by Irving Fisher, an American economist, inventor, statistician, and progressive social campaigner. The equation is the stock of money times the velocity of circulation equals the average price level by all the goods and services sold within an economy over a given time. Until the 1930s, when Maynard Keynes fundamentally changed macroeconomic theory, the quantity theory of money was orthodoxy. Keynes challenged the theory, pointing out that the money supply appeared to lead to a slowdown in the velocity of circulation. There was also a loss in the rise of real income. The quantity theory of money, that is monetarism, became very popular in the US and UK during the 1980s. President Reagan and Prime Minister Thatcher tried to adhere strictly to the principles of this theory. Over time, however, it was found that it was not the solution to economic recessions. Today, all governments of the advanced economies favour boosting the money supply as a solution to economic slowdowns. Thank you for watching this brief video on the quantity theory of money.